Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth and I am here with you on the Crescent Creation channel talking about some pink fresh goodies that are in the shop. Um, this one is Diagonal Stripes and uh, we're going to have some fun with that one. And then I've also chosen the Poinsettia. It's got a matching set of stencils and dies. This is what it looks like all stamped out. So that part is ready. Um, this stamp is a bigger one. I use my glass mat. I taped the paper down like a little hinge and then I let it fall on and then I use a tool to smooth it because our fingers, you know, they get a little heavy handed and they can wind up in the dips and get that extra black on there. So to avoid it, the extra yuckiness in between, use a tool. Okay, that's my tip for ya. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play with this um, piece of green cardstock that is also available at Crescent Creation. It's super thick and luxurious. It's a really nice one. We're gonna grab our stamping platform. Okay, I'm going to take the guts out because the, the stamp has its own foam, so I don't need that. So we're going to take our little cling, and this pink fresh one is um, break apart, so you can pull them apart. They call them the pop outs. Okay, we're going to put our sticky mat back in because we want our card to stick in the center because I want to make sure the lines go all the way around because this this does have a little border so I just want to make sure that's going to go like that we're going to get our little magnet hold everybody still and make sure that all my edges are covered which I do believe they are. So then we're just going to pick that up just like any other stamp. We're going to grab our Versamark or embossing sticky um, ink, whatever you have available. There are different brands out there. Make sure that stays there. And this is super thick card. So I want to make sure I get this really, really nice and juicy with the ink so that uh, it definitely sticks. So I'm going to do this a couple times. I'll be right back. And I forgot to use my anti-static bag, but that's okay because most of this card's going to get covered up. Now, I'm using red tinsel. Um, you can use whatever color you want. Gold would be really pretty. Silver. Any of your Christmas colors to go with the poinsettia. And just take your time. Just take your time getting this on there. Don't tap your card too heavily. Okay, we don't want it to fall off too much. And the glitter inside of it is going to stick. So be mindful that this stuff in the center just might be glitter, not the actual embossing powder. Okay. I'm just going to tap that. Very gently. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And while after I'm cleaning up, I'll heat set this. So I'll be right back. Uh, FYI, you might want to heat set <laughs> if you have the tinsel or pretty much anything with glitter. I forgot how messy it can be, but uh, yeah, maybe put it in a box and heat set it because the glitter 
it went everywhere you guys just everywhere but that's okay can use wet everything down that way there the glitter doesn't fly anywhere when you go to wipe it up and grab yourself um a napkin so that it can go right into the garbage and not into your cleaning rag and into your laundry but look at that isn't that gorgeous this rich green paper at crescent creation is i love it and it's nice and thick too so you can have it be a card base it's a really nice thick one so i have my dye ready for when we get this all colored and you're like oh my goodness that's a lot to color <laughs> it is but it isn't because we picked up the stencils as well and if you can't afford everything all at once because it is a big investment i'm not i'm not gonna lie it is a big investment but the tools will last you your lifetime your kids's lifetime all, all that fun stuff especially if we take care of them um i'm actually going to do the first layer last because i want to add some lunar paste over them so yeah i'm gonna i want to do a thin layer of lunar paste on those ones so we're going to do Yeah, we'll do, actually, let's do lunar paste on these ones. No, lunar paste on this one, and we'll just color these ones. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do. But um, all you got to do is line it up the best that you can. These stencils are not 100% perfect with the image. They're going for kind of a cute whimsical look about them so they will not match 100 percent okay but we're gonna hold it in place and just ink those up and if you want them darker well you just add more ink and i'm using the simon hurley brand inks which you can find them at Crescent Creation as well. This one here is Game Over. And it's a really beautiful, rich red. And I'm going to make this one extra, extra dark. And maybe the tips of this one. There we go. So then we lift and we have these beautiful flowers. And then you just move on to, to your next stencil. Um, yep, just like so. And your next set of colors, and you'll you'll be on your way to filling this out. I am gonna go ahead and ink all of these, and I shall return. <music> how beautiful that is mm. and um i did my cleaning of my stencils and while i was cleaning this dried oh my goodness the thinner the lunar paste the quicker it dries and applying it with your finger right through the stencil is going to give you the quickest dry time i mean look at that and it's really cool because when you're smooshing it into the stencil, it leaves the edges raised up. So it gives you some texture as well. And I just love that. So what we're going to do next is use the fabulous die. And of course, if you don't have the die, you can see if you can run it through your scan and cut or just fussy cut the images. I am going to tape mine in place so that it doesn't move around. 
and we're just going to eyeball it to make sure that everybody's got a little bit of white space around the pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and run this through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in half. That's how big that die is. But look, it leaves you just enough space for one of the sentiments if you want to use it. But look at how fabulous that is. Handmade ephemera for the front of your card. Let's go ahead and assemble this. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're going to just... I think we're going to glue this part down, but then we're going to do some fancy, fun popping up of our wreath and some of the flowers. Another fun thing about the Pink Fresh set here, poinsettia, is that there are so many pieces, you can make a lot of cards with just some of the pieces. You don't have to use all of them on one card, but you totally can if you want to. But look at how beautiful this is. You can hang it that way or that way. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a few of the extra bits and pop them up on the front so that this wreath is extra full and festive. We're gonna put that one there. And I think we'll put that one there. So we're just gonna pop those little pieces up, but we're gonna glue this one down. You could definitely pop this one up you could even make it, you can make it into a little shaker. Oh, you guys, that would be a great idea. Have a little shaker bits in the inside of that. I'll have to do that next time. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you think would be fun to do. Is turn this set into a shaker card. But let's get some... Pops, pop ups. I got some super fat pop ups and I've got some medium pop ups. Having a different variety will really make your card stand out. I'm gonna put that one. How do I want to put that one? I think I'm gonna put that one like that. Get that one in there and then I'm gonna use a shorter pop dot, maybe. Here's, oh, nope, that's a fatty. We need a skinny, skinners. I know I got pieces, here we go, here we go. We got some pieces here. Oh, that almost fit perfectly. I've gotta save those little pieces. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. But look at that. I think I'll put that one right about there and then we'll put that one there Peel your little backings, like so, oops, and it's okay that we're covering a little flower because <laughs> we're making it extra, extra plushy. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And then your sentiments, we have the choice of season's greetings or thinking of you at Christmas. 
Um, let me see. I think I like the season's greeting. I think that one would be really pretty right here. So let's go ahead and stamp that right on our blank area. And then I'm going to fussy cut it out and we'll glue that on and our card will be finished. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if this inspires you to make some greeting cards, be sure to share them on Crescent Creation Share share and tell show and tell crescent creation show and tell on facebook the link is down in the description for you and share your creations you can also hashtag crescent creation on uh instagram i do follow that tag and uh, i'd love to see what you're making and uh, if you're out shopping at Crescent Creation, be sure to use code Elizabeth Creates until um, the end of the year, 2022. Oops, those <laughs> will not cut for me. And uh, you can save 10% on regular price items with code Elizabeth Creates at Crescent um, at the Crescent Creation shop. Until next time, my friends, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, crafty day, and we will see you here live Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, where I make fun cards with goodies from the Crescent Creation Shop. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.